Welcome back everyone and welcome to Cooking Tamad Style. I'm Julian and I am Trish. Today we have prepared something sweet for all of you. That's right guys, we've already cooked noodles, we've done rice, we've done pasta, but for today we're going to be doing dessert and we're going to be using or going to be having a special tool, all right, which is going to be a and a mug because Trisha, what are we gonna make for today? Mug cake. <laughs> That's right, guys. We're gonna be making mug cakes, not a mud cake, a mug cake. Okay. So Trisha and I, um, our ingredients are pretty much the same except for the last few ingredients. So Trisha, can you please run us? What are they gonna need to prepare so that they can also make their own mug cake? All right, for the base ingredients, let's start with the dry ones. We need two tablespoons of flour. There you guys go. Two tablespoons of flour. One fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Yep. Oh. And of course, for sweetness, we need to add sugar. So for Julian, because he's not sweet enough, he's just using a tablespoon. But I want it very sweet, so I'm adding in two. All right. That's right. Now for the wet ingredients, we are adding in a whole egg. There you guys go. Whole egg. Mm -hmm. And some milk. So two tablespoons of that. So I got some milk as well. And milk. <laughs> yeah, milk. And today my mug cake is peanut butter and chocolate. So to add to those base ingredients, I also have a tablespoon of cocoa powder right here. Some chocolate chips, and peanut butter. There you go. Wow, okay. Trisha. <laughs> that looks really good. Um, so for mine, so if Trisha's going to have her chocolate and peanut butter mix, I'm just going to have a different set of ingredients just, just so that we have different flavors. And so I'm just going to be using some cookies. So I've got some crushed up cookies. And once we finish cooking the mug cake, I'm actually going to be topping it off with some strawberry jam there you go so that's going to come in the end so cookies and jam for julian and for trisha we've got chocolate and peanut butter so you really, really sounds good so trisha um let's actually start mixing the ingredients so what do we need to do first so add in all your dry ingredients so that so just the dry ones okay just the dry ones so the two tablespoons of flour all right. Or one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. And Got it. your sugar. Sugar. Mine is two tablespoons, yours is one. One tablespoon, right. And I also have cocoa powder for my mug cake. I'm also adding in this to my mug. And then mix everything together. There you go. All right, so mixing everything together, guys, making sure that, you know, all your dry ingredients are well mixed, you know, they're balanced, they're very even throughout. And once you feel like um, you've mixed it well enough, Trisha, I think we're going to go next to the wet ingredients. Is that right? Ingredient. Starting with your egg. Just add in your egg. All right, so add in your eggs. I already have here a uh, broken egg yolk. Yep. All right. Mix it well. This is probably the most difficult, well, not really difficult um, step because you have to make sure that the dry ingredients are mixed well with that egg, egg white and egg yolk. So mix it thoroughly, vigorously. Yep, making sure that it's really getting mixed and nothing nothing clumping up make sure you get it all nice and smooth so just really put your spoon or fork to work when you're mixing it making sure that it's just really getting mixed and balanced and even and um just as a pro tip guys i found it helpful to actually just have two spoons so sometimes you know some of it will stick to the spoon so just have another spoon to scrape it all off so just really mix it all in this can be so really, uh, it looks starting to take form and it looks really good. Wow. So is yours mixed well now, Julian? Shall we add yeah. in? Go ahead. So put in yours. 
Okay, two tablespoons of milk. There you go. Okay. Mix it well again. Mm -hmm. Mix, mix, mix. That's the key to a really good mug cake. All right. So I am adding in my special ingredients now. I've got some chocolate chips over here. Just add it to your mug, a tablespoon of that. Mm -hmm. And at the center, we want to add a tablespoon of the peanut butter. Ah, uh, and I think, guys, remember, this is what makes it important because if there's some clumps, then you won't be able to put that in the middle really well. So make sure you really get that mixed really good. Yep. So I am adding butter at the center of my batter just so later when it's all cooked and we dig into it, you've got that gooey center. All right, Julian, shall you show our viewers how to do your cookie and jam while I pop this in the microwave? Sure thing. So, guys, mine is much more um, easier. So, uh, Trish has got her peanut butter in the middle, but Really, for me, I've got my mix here, and it's really even and consistent now. I'm just going to be putting the cookie chunks in as well. So, you know, and in this time, you don't really need to crush them up because they've already been crushed. And so all, the, all you really need to do, do, sorry, is get them really mixed in there, you know, get them really mixed in there so that when you heat them up in the microwave, they, they're all over, you know, and then each bite will just have that really good cookie chunk in it. So, Trisha, um, while I put this or while I chuck this in the microwave, can you please tell our viewers how long do they need to put it in the microwave for? All right. So, put in the microwave for a minute and a half since we added in one whole egg in it. It's very important that we cook the egg very well. So, Julian is making his cookie and mug cake, and I have my peanut butter and chocolate mug cake. And again, for this mug cake you can do a lot more variations to it so you can have carrots when you're using the same ingredients just add in some cinnamon and carrots to make a mug cake carrot cake or just plain vanilla mug cake using some vanilla beans or vanilla extract so julian while we wait for the microwave to finish our mug cakes i've got a random question for you a random question. Okay, sure. Ask away. What's the question? Julian, where do broken hearts go? Where, where do broken hearts go? Are you asking me because you need to find a place? No, I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> You're asking for a friend. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, guys. So where do broken hearts go? Um, For me, I think a broken heart, uh, Trisha, you know, for me, a broken heart would go to the kitchen because... Sometimes you just need to have some feel-good food to, you know, mend a broken heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're doing right um, there, food. Okay. Yep, so some food, especially some tamad cooking style food. You know what, Trisha, you actually gave me a very, very good idea. Um, I'm actually just going to check my phone and I'm going to look at to see if there's any questions or comments by our viewers right now and see if they have any questions for us. All right, so I'm just... See, oh, there's a lot of good questions. Um, here's one. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a question for you, Trisha. So the question is, Trisha, um, how can I find the way to Trisha's heart? Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, I'm so killing. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, since that's a serious question, I am going to have a serious answer. Wow, okay, go ahead. And make me laugh. You know, sense of humor. Sure key to my heart. But right. I think my mug cake is ready. Saved by the bell. I'll go and check my mug cake now, Julian. All right. So everyone, while Trisha's uh, checking her mud cake, it's very interesting, you know. So again, guys, don't forget for Trisha, laughter and food. So laughing gas and... Cooking tamad style is the way to Trisha's heart. So to our dear viewer that has a question, I hope 
this gives you a few pointers on how to get uh, to Trisha's heart. But if you also want to ask us a question, please don't forget to like and subscribe and, you know, leave your comments in our page. And who knows, your question might be asked in our next episode. And I think my mug cake is just about ready as well. So Trisha, is there anything else you want to tell our viewers? Like we always every episode, we are really interested in your own version of the tamad style dishes. So please share us photos of your mug cake this time around. And as Julian said, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to our page. Julian, show me your yes. cake. All right, so I'm just right about to, um, it looks really good, and I'm just right about to put, oh, look at that, look at that mud cake, really good. And I can really smell the cookies in it as well, so I'm just about to put um, the jam on top of it. Well, you're putting it really. I am going to show everyone my mug cake. Oh my gosh, if you can oh my gosh. smell that looks the really good. Scent. I'm just gonna put an extra bit of jam as well. There you go. You never go wrong with extra jam. So, Trisha, you want to share everyone your mug cake? Here That's my go. mug cake with some jam. And don't forget, guys, before you dig in, please let it sit for around two minutes so you don't burn your tongue. That's very important because you can't really appreciate good food with a burnt tongue. All right, so just a little bit of patience. Yeah. I'm so excited. I can't wait for two minutes. I just want to see if it's all gooey in the center. All right. So, guys, while Trish is checking that out, again, it's great having you here. Please don't forget to share your pictures and, of course, like her page. And Trisha and I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Enjoy. Bye, guys. Your see ya. Take care of your heart.